thank you all for joining in today and today is our 20 um, today is our episode number 38 and this is free intune training provided by how to manage devices community and if you have any questions related to device management please feel free to use our forum forum that is forum dot how to manage devices dot com right so since last couple of weeks we've been looking into csp policies and uh, the custom csp configuration profiles custom configuration profiles for the browsers browsers etc right so today we are looking into something called security baseline right so security baseline like we can apply security policies from different places in intune right uh, so probably you might get confused where to start and which one to use right so you can use probably the security baseline thank you so you can use the security baseline which is out of box available in intune so this is part of endpoint security if i if we go to endpoint security you you would be able to see something called security baseline right so this is the microsoft recommended security baselines right which you can deploy for your windows 10 devices defender atp and microsoft edge right so it depends on your organization whether you want to use this baseline microsoft's best practice baseline or you have something on your own like uh within your organization right probably your security team is following cis security baseline right so that is the global standard security baseline which most of the organization follow that is cis right so if if your security team's requirement is to deploy cis then probably this this one right security baseline best recommended from microsoft might not work for you right it is not for you otherwise you might need to convince your security team to use this one instead of cis and we should they should we device management team and say security team should get into a synergy and <laughs> like uh, sync and uh, we need to then we need to get aligned and we need to get to into an agreement to use this right so basically this this makes things very easy right for example if you are a small organization right and you have only one into admin probably this is the best way to deploy security policies to your organization right we don't we, you if you don't want to go into each csp or you don't want to create um, uh, select each policies and deploy it separately right that option is also there that we are we are coming into that in a, in in a couple of minutes or 5 minutes right so this is for those organizations like uh, they don't they don't care like um, they don't want to select each security policies and deploy it to the machines right so this is a bundle of security policies as per the recommendation from microsoft so if i click on that you will see like three three pieces over here right one is for windows 10 another one is for atp and the one a third one is for edge right so if i click on windows 10 you can see a uh, this is the baseline for may 2019 right published on may 2019 now you can see a uh, different versions over here right if you, if you probably microsoft have not released the version after that probably right so if if they release you will get uh, more versions here and you can select one version and you can click on create profile right so uh, for example right i am going to create use this template 
right and create a profile right so create a profile means <clears throat> this is windows 10 windows 10 security baseline right baseline by msft okay so this is what i'm going to use right and and click next and configuration on in the configuration everything like most of the settings are automatically selected default right block display toast notification yes it's automatically selected as per the best practice so you don't need to go through each and every settings and um, and select it right so easy to deploy and uh, make your life easy right <laughs> and you can say like oh a lot of security policies are deployed to our windows 10 mdm managed devices to the security team right but only the catch is for example if you are using a tool like what is what is it called i forgot um qualys right Qualys tool for scanning the security vulnerabilities, right? Then you might not be able to get the results, the security vulnerability results or a report from Qualys because Qualys, what I have learned is Qualys doesn't support the MDM related security policies, right? So they cannot Qualys cannot fetch the reports from MDM related security policies. It can only fetch the reports from the classic group policy related security policies, etc. Right. That is what my understanding is. OK, so let me know if you have any different experience than this right in the in the chat window or in the comment of the video. Right. OK, so Coming back to this security baseline. So this is the default uh, out of box policy profile available to you use to you to use right for your organization. And just remember that this this is, might not be the same as CIS policies. If you follow CIS method of deploying security policies, right? So I will just click next and the rest everything is basically the same right before going to next right probably you can see you if you want to see something we can we can try to search it right so if you if you search use the search button you would be able to see like a particular particular security policy right something related to control if if you can see over here block user control over the installation right and in the Internet Explorer, you might be able to see something else, right? So this is the this is the secure baseline security baseline for Windows 10 that is recommended by Microsoft, right? And uh, you can say assign assignment is also same as uh, the other policies, right? There is no difference. Uh, we have deployed ADMX policies and all right. So this is similar to that. OK, so no change. I'm not going to assign this to any devices now right i don't want to deploy this to my windows 10 text uh, test machine right test vm so once you deploy it right you would be able to see this in the profile right this is a this is the one which we created now right it says not assigned that's fine if you click on this you would be able to see the same window as the policy window like a configuration profile window we injected admx and all right similar to that you will see right all the settings will come down here right if you if you if you come down you would be able to see all these settings available what are the local policy local security policy options etc etc right okay so that is that is one one profile or one baseline right we have different baselines this was windows 10 security baseline now we have a atp baseline right so same thing works for atp also right so atp you can see atp baseline is there and you can click on this and create a profile and you can say like oh this is my atp 
baseline right by msft msft right so and you can see like okay so what are which are the policies by default available out of box available all these policies are best recommended option from microsoft side probably uh, if you are facing some issues then probably you might need to change some of these you would be able to do that right so and if you have a something similar policy deployed through your configuration profile right for example bitlocker policy you already configured a bitlocker policy through the configuration profile in intune and if you are trying to deploy this policy also then you will get into that conflict kind of a scenario as we have seen in the previous videos and episodes right there is a conflict if you are trying to apply same policy from a different places right probably there could be chances that you will end up in a conflict kind of a scenario so you should be very careful about that so even if you are deploying this particular baseline or planning to deploy this particular baseline for atp then probably you might need to check and confirm whether you already have a bitlocker policy then probably it's better to change this from yes to not configured right so you won't get any conflicts right so so that is one another tip which i can provide uh, to avoid any conflicts in the policies etc right so this is the baseline for atp and i'm not going to deploy this and i'm just going to create it and live it as it is right and now you can see i don't know why it's not coming okay it will come probably atp yeah okay atp is there right and now let's go into edge baseline right edge has a baseline microsoft released an a baseline for security baseline for edge right edge policies right if you want to control edge chromium browser then you can create a policy of from here right create a policy and you can see like whatever you want right so let's follow the same method and go over here versions and i select the latest version right this is for 80 and later at right? edge version 80 and later so in the when we create deployed edge application it was 77 or and later right now it is this baseline is for 80 and later right so let's create one and edge chromium edge chromium baseline by msft okay so this is microsoft's recommended baseline so if you are not if your security team is not happy with microsoft providing a baseline for their product probably then you need to follow the cis or some other baselines right a third party baseline to get the confirmation right so supported authentication schemes and all all these are the options available for for microsoft edge chromium browser okay so i'm going to say next i'm going to I'm not going to assign it to the this policy to any to any device right i'm just going to create the policy and if i go to profiles you would be able to see edge chromium baseline now the assignment everything is same so if you want to use you can use it for your organization then the reporting is kind of same right you would be able to see how many devices it got the policies and is there any misconfigurations or conflicts or something like that right okay so this is the one part of it right so basically i don't know um, i think this is the one right there is a documentation about the baseline windows 10 mdm security baseline and uh, what are the things available there and what is the idea or what is the scenario for using this particular baseline all these are available here and these 
these details these links will be available in the description of the video right and i probably share in the chat also okay so let's let's go back to some other policy options admx uh, admx related policy options before that right uh, cis is uh, i mentioned about the cis policies baselines uh, basically most of the organizations or security teams are following cis baselines right within for for their organizational security policies because they are kind of a trusted third party who provides the best security uh, security settings for the organization right but they don't actually started following the mdm way of things right windows 10 mdm related security policies they are not kind of really uh, releasing it right so if you if you look at cis most of the policies are basically based on the group policy so what with what recently i have noticed and i came to know from from my colleagues is okay there is a uk government website over here right so uk government website and they are providing right national cyber security center uk national cyber security center and they are providing a uh, documentation about windows 10 mdm kind of configurations right similar to cis right so as i mentioned cis probably might not provide mdm related windows 10 mdm related configurations but this website right the um, the national security center i think right i forgot the name of the organization uk organization national cyber security center okay so that organization is providing the standard best practice for the csps you know the csps now right so csps and admx policies over here see csp back back and csp admx configuration service providers we played with a csp policies very much in the previous episodes and previous videos right and if you are if you are not able to convince your security team to use this baseline right the 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 standard baseline provided by microsoft probably the best option for you is to ask them to analyze uk cyber security website and check all these csp policies and it is easy to match each policy within intune because it's a csp right so if you try to match cis policies probably it would be difficult because it is a group policy and probably you might not get the similar kind of settings values over there but if you have a csp policy probably that will help you right in a better better understanding and better review and that will help the security team also to get a third party view on microsoft security policies right so that is a good start uh, for your organization if you are deploying it in that way okay so so that is one tip and probably i think microsoft is also having a documentation about this right download a new download will save uk companies weeks of cyber security work okay so i think microsoft is also promoting this as a third party probably for as a temporary um work around or a work around for using instead of using cis probably you can use this cyber security baselines from uk government and uh, you can can try to convince your security team to follow their method of analyzing the csp policies and admx policies right so that is one more tip i wanted to i wanted to share with you today before we go into another settings in intune right so we said like okay so 
if you are a small organization if you have a very small team and you don't have time to analyze all the security policies all the configurations available in uh, windows 10 in a different uh, sorry in intune in different places then this is this is your best bet right security baseline and then atp and uh, you will get windows 10 security baseline defender atp microsoft edge baseline right so these are the things you will get from there so i thought like probably we will stop here and uh, if you have any questions probably we can take the questions now before going into the other part Yeah, hi Anup. One question. Yep. Do we have export uh, in a XML or a CSV to compare? Can we export this policies? Uh, this one security baseline. baseline. Yeah. Yeah. I never tried that to be honest, but we can check. but if the if the policies are av not available the export option is not available even though if it is not available right uh, out of box in the portal but we can use there are documentation and there are scripts available to fetch these details from graph api right so you can easily fetch these details the recommend the the default configurations from uh, from graph api in the background right so that is that is easily available but i don't think there is anything called export over here no i don't think so okay yeah it's it, it's it's good to export and then share with security uh, teams so they can get the view because they won't be having access to some tool so yeah actually the theme which microsoft is coming up with is basically they are this this node right endpoint security this node in intune is basically created for security team right so you can create provide a rbac access to this node and probably they they will be able to access uh, at least a read only access or something so that is their theme right so they are trying to integrate very closely work very closely with my uh, security team and device management team once they have some uh, like security team have some problems or they find out some issues probably they will get an option to raise tickets with device management team that is the flow they are kind of working on microsoft yeah good tip thanks no worries any any other questions Okay. No other questions. Let's let's go. Uh, in. One more thing I can ask. Um, yeah. There is sure. something something in analytics um, where we can compare the existing GPUs. I believe Microsoft is coming with with uh, with those. Yeah. Analytics. There are, there are tool there are tools available. I think within I think we have we had the same similar kind of questions. in this video series also before somebody asked the same question but there are tools available where you can upload your uh, group policies right and you can compare it online or something like that and microsoft will analyze it for you also right so there are tools available i can find out that details probably i can share it with the description of the video Does that make sense? Yeah, that would help. Thanks. Okay, so let's let's go into the other type of security policy. I I'm not I don't think we would be able to cover this today, but we, I will just give you an overview, right? So let's go to devices again, right? And let's go to our filter filter with Windows. and then provide uh, something called con go to configuration profiles right our same policy which we been working for all the admx and uh, csps etc etc right so create a profile 
and there's something called we select the platform and there's something called administrative templates right so the the other name right which we can use probably as to get a understanding is basically this is cloud gpo kind of a scenario right this is cloud gpo kind of a scenario right or profile which we are going to create so this is administrative templates right and you will get a more similar feeling like um, we are playing with the gpos if you open up this profile right so let's say i don't know let's say test for now today we will create a actual policy and uh, deploy it right sorry tomorrow we will create an actual policy and uh, deploy it right okay so this is computer configurations user configurations and uh, you would be able to search any configuration over here control panel if you want to check control panel will come up and you can see like what are the con policies available for the control panel right there's no policies probably there is something for the for the users i don't know let's check printer policies desktop policies right so let's remove this right now and printer policy control panel printer policy is available you can configure it does this sound like similar to crew policy and this is the new addition to the intune so for example if you don't want to use that security baseline that is automatically configured as per the best practice from microsoft uh, then probably this is the best bet to use right so if you want to select each policy as per your security team's requirement then this is the best bet to use this is the best policy to use right the the administrative profiles so most of the organizations i think started using this okay and i think we have a list of i have i have exported a list of all the settings available in this baseline policy in the in the administrative templates right policies and it's there in our blog uh, how to manage devices.com right so i will share that link also in the video description and probably in chat also so we will see tomorrow we will see like how we can configure this and how we can deploy it and what does the story behind this right so if you have any questions please feel free to unmute yourself and ask otherwise we will see you tomorrow same time same place yes we Hello, have again okay hi uh, so if um, both can be applied or is it we have a, have to choose either of second or uh, this so, uh, configuration profile or so this is, this is a, yeah this is this is depends this depends entirely on your organization and how you are able to convince your security team right but you cannot technically you cannot deploy both the policy technically you can deploy both the policies right there is no restriction but you need to be very careful because you you should not be conflicting the policies right for example i i took an example of bitlocker right so if you are configuring some bitlocker policy somewhere else in the intune and then you are using the security baseline then that will give you a conflict right and the policies might not get applied to the devices right on the end user devices so that is the only thing you need to take care but technically you can deploy both the policies that should not be a problem does that make sense okay okay any any other questions last chance 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay okay thank you all for joining in today and uh, we'll see you tomorrow same time same place take care bye bye
थैंक यू थैंक यू अनुप सर